Women's Empowerment Index for Handloom Weavers in Assam, India. This article is written by five authors. First author Connie Tabasumatri. Second author Mrigila Devi. Third author Sijal Sabasumatri. Fourth author Sanstrang Mukhari. Last author Aragda Raja Basumatri. Contribution and originality of the study is that, previous studies on handloom weavers have concentrated on analyzing the socio-economic conditions of weavers, female entrepreneurship, and participation. Few studies examine how handloom weaving empowers women, so this study deviates from others as it incorporates the empowerment index of handloom weavers. The main purpose of this study is to construct a women's empowerment index for handloom weavers by adopting the tools developed by the Oxford Poverty and Human Development Initiative, OPHI. Within Assam, India, 1,000 sample respondents were selected for the study from five leading handloom production districts. For the study, individual level data were collected by interviewing handloom weavers comprising seven domains and 25 indicators. A regression analysis was used in the study, and the results revealed that out of the five districts in Assam, the empowerment index of handloom weavers is highest for Kamrup, rural, 0.72, followed by Barpara, 0.64, Kakraj, 0.61, Najan, 0.58, and Chirang district, 0.44. Overall, the Women's Empowerment Index for Handloom Weavers is less than the global standard empowerment weighted average of 0.80. It was also found that empowerment is linked to wages, education, availability of electricity, media exposure, and other household characteristics. Therefore, policies should set out a minimum wage structure for weavers that is fixed by the government and implemented properly as well as initiatives regarding other factors that encourage empowerment. Thanks for watching this video of Humanities and Social Sciences Letters Volume 11 Issue Number 2.